In today's video, we'll take a look at how to add a transparent watermark or a branding logo to your video. Hey guys, this is Serge and welcome back to my channel. Adding watermarks to your video can serve a couple purposes. One is protecting your content. You can place a permanent watermark on your video clips to discourage people from stealing and reusing your content. You can also use watermarks for branding by permanently placing your channel logo in the corner of your clip. To add a watermark over your video, open the Titles and Generators browser, select Titles, and type Basic in the search box. Drag and drop the basic title over your clip and ripple trim it to the length of your clip or your entire project. Type in your title text and adjust the font and size of your title. Click the Transform button if you need to reposition or rotate your title. Once you have it in place, click Done. Next, with the title clip still selected, in the Video Inspector, select the Video tab. To make your title transparent, from the Blend Mode drop-down menu, select Soft Light. This will make your text transparent with the video underneath showing through. If you want your text to be a little bit more prominent, try the Overlay Blend Mode. You can also use the same method to add branding to your video. For example, if you upload your videos to YouTube, you can brand your content by adding your channel logo in the corner. To add your logo, import it into Final Cut Pro and drag and drop it over your video. Use the Transform tool to resize and reposition your image to where it doesn't interfere with your video. Once again, just like for the watermark, in the Video Inspector, change the Blend Mode to Soft Light. Once you export your video, your watermark or your channel logo will be permanently burnt into your video where no one else can remove it. The last thing I want to show you is how to apply watermarks to clips in your browser. This works great if you have a project where only certain clips need to be watermarked. You can add and ripple trim a watermark title clip to only cover the clips that need to be watermarked, but if you make any edits to the clip, you also need to edit your title clip. A better way of doing this is to apply the watermark directly to your clip in the browser. Select your clip in the browser and from the menu bar select Clip and Open Clip. This opens up your selected clip in its own separate timeline. Add your watermark to this clip just like you did before. You will get a dialog box pop up warning you that any changes to this clip will be permanent. Click Continue and finish adding your watermark. Once done, click the back button to go back to your project. Now, when you add this clip to your project, your watermark will be added with it. Any adjustments made to the clip will also be made to your watermark. And if you ever need to remove this watermark from your clip, it can be done the same way. Select your clip in the timeline, and from the menu bar select Clip, and Open Clip. You can now delete your watermark title, and when you go back to your project, the watermark will be gone. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, let me know by hitting the like button or in the comments below. If you're new here, make sure to check out the rest of my channel for more Final Cut Pro tutorials. New videos upload weekly, so hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.